Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG. I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best aero wing settings you can run for any car around the Nordschleifer. Um, again, it's a track that's pretty difficult to balance the car in terms of whether you're going high drag or low drag. Um, loads of straights, but also a lot of corners. It's, it's pretty difficult to find the correct balance and the balance that's right for quali may not be the exact same balance that is right for the race because you have to you have to try and figure out what is raceable and what is good for just hot lapping so um we're gonna get stuck into that and um hope you guys do enjoy the video let's go so we're in the bmw i'm just gonna load up the aggressive setup um let's go straight to the arrow you can see the arrow is actually on six by default and what i will say is what can be a little bit tricky in your mind you think about the the, the long straight coming back onto the main circuit you think about a lot of the flat out sections and you might think Maybe six is a little too high. I know a lot of people will be tempted to run four or, or three or something like that. Um, and you can actually get away with those wing settings in this car. But what you do have to think about is what is actually raceable. What's going to be good for your tires? You know, what what setups are going to help you get through an hour long race around the Nordschleifer if you're doing LFM for it, for instance. So um, again, it's all about finding the correct balance. You do know if you the less wing you use then you're gonna have to think about how much rake you're running and stuff like that and again when you do use low levels of wing you have to remember your braking distance is affected the way how you get on the power is affected your tire wear is probably going to be affected okay um also your rear ride height you're probably gonna have to go slightly down to balance it out you sort of want to get the same steering or the same sort of front end so you're going to have to perfectly balance out your ride height and your aero variation, which is this right here. So let's say if I'm running max wing and I put my, my rear ride height up to like 86, then my front aero variation is minus 4.1. So how are we going to get the car to feel similar to that variation just by changing, going down on the downfall? So the more, the lower we go, you can see it's down to minus 1.5. So we're going to have to, Keep going down on the rake to get it anywhere near what what it was before and as you can see you can't really achieve it by you know putting the rear right height down it's almost impossible to achieve that same error variation so those are the things you have to think about but i want to talk more about you know how it's going to actually affect your race to run high downforce and low downforce and where i think the balance actually lies around this track because it is quite interesting so yesterday you might have seen me actually spectating my friend Carl racing around the Nordschleife and he had been trying different setups, different aero sort of variations and at first he was very sure that the way to go was low downforce. Um, I can see why he would think that but I was sort of saying to him you need to try to up your downforce levels even though it may seem as if it doesn't make that much sense around the Nordschleife because of how high speed the track is and it's, it's an eight minute and so, eight minute something track eight minute you know four four five seconds depending on who's doing the lap so you know there's a lot of of that track where you think man i need the straight line speed the reality is the fastest way if you're just in quality is probably high downforce because of how late you can break how early you can get on the throttle the fact that it stops the pretty much stops all the sliding <clears throat> the car is just more balanced when you're coming off of curbs and stuff like that certain corners where you might have to have a a bit more of a lift or maybe a dab of the brake some of them is like an even smaller lift and straight back on the throttle the balance just seems to be more forgiving as well um so all those things contribute to me that probably higher downforce is probably a little bit quicker over one lap now the very very best guys can probably get away with knocking their downforce down but you have to understand the level that these guys actually drive to is crazy it's actually insane um and like just watching my friend carl go around he was using around four wing before then he went to max wing and he ended up being quicker with max wing um his last sector around north Cypher was like comparable to some of the fastest last sectors that you're seeing so um definitely definitely i would say if you're if you're maybe not at the absolute echelon at the top level on this game then probably you could get away with running max wing in quality what i will say about the race is max wing is not really raceable now what i mean by that is 
sure you can keep up with guys you'll be right on them especially through the majority of the circuit you will be all over him but when you get to the the latter part of the lap where you get to the long straight you're going to get absolutely killed and that is the the point of of racing at the end of the day is you're racing against other people and that is the most the, that is the most difficult thing to set your car up for because you need to be able to overtake around this track the majority of the overtakes around Nordschleife are done in that straight that's in the middle sector that is um before the carousel there's like a sort of a, a long straight and then the back straight that's the main two places where you're going to see overtakes and you know all the cars that have very good straight line speed they just drive past you when you have high wing if you i'll put a clip in of carl getting absolutely rinsed <laughs> yesterday down the straight um and there was literally nothing he could do about it because the bentley was just so much faster <clears throat> what i will say though is again in terms of like tire wear and stuff like that you might find that running more downforce you might save a little bit more tire but you know your ability to race is actually hampered with high downforce despite how good the car might feel so <clears throat> what i would say is you probably want to find a balance that is sort of more towards high wing i would say in if you especially if you're in a bmw you want about 70 percent higher higher aero i would say so that's like the max the max for the bmw is eight i'll say between five and six that's sort of the the area you want to be around I, I don't recommend going too low because i feel like it's just going to affect your speed around the majority of the of the nordschleife your braking zones are going to be massively increased so you don't realize how much time you actually lose on the brakes when you run low downforce man i watched carl do a lap um with i think he was using like four wing in the bmw using four wing and he was doing all right and then he put it to max wing and some corners he was literally gaining like half a second in the braking zone which is insane it's a massive amount of time especially with a track that's got that many corners and that many braking zones so i would definitely say if you want to run you know high downforce for quality and absolutely just send it everywhere then you know that's it's not a bad strategy um it's going to help you get a, get a lap in as well because the car's going to be a little bit more secure but for the race you have to find that correct balance of you know not too high but definitely not not crazy low because you're going to struggle to compete the rate complete the race without binning it so between five and six now for other cars so depending on how much rear angle they're running you know the same sort of percentage you want to leave sort of a couple of percent on the table so i'd say just knock it down three or four clicks depending on what car you're in you don't want to be too too high because as i said it's very very hard to race in that situation when you you've got incredibly high downforce um again why i would say you, you don't want to go too low on your downforce is because even the first part of the Nordschleife, the actual Nürburgring circuit, you're going to lose so much time around the circuit. Now, as I said, the very, very, very best guys might be how to get away with it, but they are exceedingly good. Um, but at the same time, you know, racing around the circuit with next to no downforce on, you're going to probably be about a second or a second and a bit off. The first sector as well, where you know it's a lot of tight and twisty corners around the Nordschleife, you're going to be off there as well. And then, obviously, when you start getting towards the middle sector and the last sector, you might gain a little bit of time on the straights, but I don't feel like you're going to gain as much time as you know having the higher downfall setting. So, for me, definitely, um, on the higher side of downforce, I believe is the quicker route around this track. If you disagree or you think you know you've got a setup that can prove me wrong then by all means tell me in the comment section below but anyway guys it's cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace